Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make specifically Minecraft, but basically all games not lag. I mean, like even if you don't have a decent computer, this is going to help you. I mean, I have a de decent computer, so I didn't really need to do this, but I thought I'd do it anyway. You know, just bump up the PC specs a little bit. And I'm, I'm actually being honest here, it has basically um, doubled my FPS on average. Usually I, I got like 50 FPS, now I'm always not almost always over a hundred so I'll just show you how to do this so it's to do with your RAM and complicated stuff but just take my word for it so on your desktop uh, you want to click start and then click on computer um, and then on computer you want to go to system properties and you can go to advanced system settings yep that's it and then you should get on this this thing here with like computer name hardware blah blah blah, blah. But you want to go on advanced and you should see performance blah 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 and go on performance because we want to improve our computer's performance now this is where it gets complicated this is um an allocated virtual memory which basically converts your hard drive into ram i won't really explain it but it kind of make is like makeshift ram on your hard drive now usually this is set at the same amount of megabytes as your as your ram so this was set at 8,000 and something because when it says you've got 8,000 like 1 gigabyte of RAM actually means you've got 1 gigabyte and 24 megabytes so 1,024 megabytes of RAM um, so basically to get your amount if the the amount here should be 1,024 times what the amount of RAM that you've got so that should be it and then basically what I did is I just doubled mine and um, it should be ticked on this untick that and click on custom size and you should come onto this initial size and maximum size and um, basically just write double what it said here so just double it in the calculator won't really that be hard won't really that be that hard and it basically just doubles your ram and your ram speed and all that so you know it's it's a really good thing to do and as i say it basically just doubles your speed and it is really 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 easy yeah it's, it's not hard at all and it may seem a bit complicated, you know, going all in these system settings and changing some numbers, which you might not really want to do. But, um, you know, you know it's it's not really that hard. Um, and there are a couple of other things you can do in, in here. I mean, if you really want to, if your computer's really laggy, um, you want to click on Adjust for Best Performance. And it basically just make your computer look like a piece of crap. Like the operating system, it'll look like um, Windows 98 or even before that. Basically, it turns it into Windows Classic, but your computer runs like a charm. You'll run at about 500 FPS if you've got like a decent amount of RAM, a decent processor, like an i3. I've got an i3. If you've got an i3, I'm I'm honestly saying that with my specs, I could probably run at 500 FPS if I switch this onto best performance. So you know, if you if you have a bad computer, then do do what I've just done. You know, change change um change for best performance and um change this to double what it was originally um if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below i'll happily answer them because this is kind of a complicated topic so you know i'll be happy to accept them um so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed and i will be seeing you guys later